Boxing Voice. Josh from the Boxing Voice here with Cur Curtis Showtime and Stevens. Curtis, you have a fight against Hassan and Dom coming up. What are you looking forward to coming that fight? Uh, good fight. I'm gonna be in Santa Monica, California. Uh, but I gotta go in there and do what I gotta do. So it's all good. Have you seen his fight with Peter Quillen? Yeah, I seen it. It was cool. We went down a couple times, got back up. We got. Right. What do you think you could take advantage of come fight night? You gotta take his heart. It's not. It's not. Everybody fights uh, different people, different ways. Like you know, who says he's gonna come and fight me like as he did Quillen? Like you know. So I gotta get in there and see what he do, and just uh, adapt to my surroundings. Is there any pressure to look better than Peter Quillen did against Hassan Endo? Um, not necessarily no pressure, cause I believe Quillen was losing a fight regardless. Besides the knockdown, if he wouldn't knock him down, he was losing. So I just gotta go in here and do me. It's not about me looking more impressive than Peter Quillen. As long as I take him out, as long as I take him out, the way, the way I suppose take him out, everything go towards the plan. Switching gears a little bit, you mentioned my Gennady Golovkin hat. You were one of the guys who went into deep water with him, gave him a pretty good fight compared to other guys as we've seen. Would you like a rematch with him? Because you hit him clean on the chin a few times. See, of course I love a uh, rematch with Gennady. He's still undefeated. Well, I, I, I didn't let my, I didn't let my hands go. So. That's what the outcome of what happened was. So now, after I fight, fuck, after I fuck my dime up, take Solomon or Jermaine Sell out, I'm at the title, so we're gonna have to do it again. Thank you, Curtis Stevens. Thank you. The Boxing Voice.